Welcome to 365 Inspired Yoga Classes. Today is day 67 and our inspiration is a Vibe Flow Yoga. So I hope you're feeling groovy today. We're gonna start in tabletop. Come on down to your hands and knees. This is a 30 minute class, so get yourself ready. Carve out that 30 minutes for yourself and here we go. Now normally in tabletop, I ask that you align your wrists right beneath your shoulders and your knees beneath your hips. But because I want you to groove a little, let me ask you to bring your knees closer together, about two inches apart, and walk your hands forward approximately the length of your palm. This will give you a little bit of extra space so you can move and groove with me. Shift forward, and then begin to press your hips over to the right, swiveling your booty around to the left. Come forward and up, there you go. Keep it going, we'll go around, and around and around, just loosening up the hips, and I hope you're feeling a little bit of easy rotational movement in the shoulders. Always take care of yourself. You can see I have some props nearby. They might be handy to have a blanket beneath your knees, or maybe you like to use blocks in some point of your practice. Take care of yourself, move forward, and let's swivel the booty, the hips, the other way. Hips sweep to the left, back toward the heels, circle right and forward and up. Keep going around and around and around. I think sometimes yoga is like dancing. Some of the movements actually are sort of similar to dance. So we'll play around with some of the various postures. How is your hip feeling? Left and right, good. What about your lower back and your spine? This circling, stretching, swiveling fun helps to loosen up that area of the body. Now we're ready to relax in child's pose. To do this, take your knees wide to the outer edges of the mat. Slide your big toes together to touch. Start to press your hips toward your heels. Stretch your arms as far forward as you comfortably can. And relax your forehead down on your mat with a few deep, slow breaths in and out of your nose. And listen to the sound of your breath. I know there's music playing, but maybe you can hear the music in you as you breathe slowly. There's a slight constriction at the back of your throat and it creates that whispery sound. Continue to breathe slowly as best you can throughout our practice. And if you need to, you can always come back to resting if you lose sight of your breath or you begin to struggle. Let's start to rise back up to tabletop, bringing the knees in and separating the feet slightly. Maybe you back the palms up a little. Curl your toes under and exhale into downward facing dog. So as we come to down dog, let's make it a dancing dog by pressing one heel toward the mat as the opposite knee is bent and then switch it up. So we straighten the opposite leg, pushing the heel back as best you can and bending the other leg. Keep it going, dancing dog. Maybe wiggle your booty or swivel your shoulders. Just getting into kind of a groovy vibe today in our yoga flow. Let's take that dog for a walk to the top of the mat. Maybe crossing one foot in front of the other like a slow, sultry walk. <laughs> Once you get to the top of the mat, leave your feet separated hip distance or so. Bend your knees, easing into this swaying gently side to side. Just pausing maybe on each side to stretch. Feeling your body begin to wake up. <clears throat> Good, come back to center and bring your feet together to touch. Soften your knees and slowly roll up to standing. Once you come all the way upright, sweep your arms overhead, bring your palms to connect above you and as you breathe out, bring your hands down to your heart space. Our inspiration for practice is to find that vibe flow in our yoga. So close your eyes and invite in that feeling. Maybe there's some place in your world that brings you that feeling, a special music, a song, an artist that you like, a person you love to dance with. Just bring that to mind and feel that vibe, feel that flow and breathe it in. And then open your eyes and place your palms down. As you inhale, your arms will sweep high to mouth. Let me turn to face the camera because we're gonna add a dancey flow. Release your left arm and stretch over to the left with the right side of your body. Push your hips to the right to get a little more groove. Breathe and rise up, and as you exhale, go the other way. So the right arm releases, we stretch to the right as we elongate through the left, pushing the left hip over for a little more of an arc of a stretch. 
Next inhale brings you up to center and breathe out to fold forward. Your hands can move through heart center, soften the knees and fold all the way down. With your next inhale, flow up a little bit, just halfway. Exhale, fold down. Let's do that again. Inhale, halfway lift. Squeeze your shoulder blades toward each other. Exhale, fold forward. One more time, breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, plant your palms, step to high plank, the top of the push up. Several options for you here. You can push up and back to down dog. You can drop to the knees to flow through a, a modified yoga push up. Keep the elbows close. If you do that, lift to a cobra pose. Third option, if you're feeling it today, this is really strong. Shift forward, keep the elbows glued to the body as you lower halfway. Flip the feet over, lift to upward facing dog, and breathe out to come up and back, booty high, downward facing dog, dancing dogs, dance it out. Pressing the heels, swiveling the hips, dropping the opposite shoulder. Good. And then take that dog for a walk to the top of the mat. Breathe in, halfway lift. Just one time, exhale, forward fold. Breathe and come all the way up to mountain. Here we go, let's flow. Exhale, left arm releases, right body stretches. Awesome, inhale, come up. Breathe out to the opposite way. Breathe and rise and reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, come to down dog or flow through high to low plank. Maybe on the knees if you need to. Breathe into up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hang out, dancing dog, stretch it out. Wiggle, wiggle, swivel, groove. And then look forward and walk to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale, mountain. Exhale, tilt to the left, arms flow. Inhale, rise. Exhale, tilt to the right. Breathe in, rise and reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Breathe out to plant the palms and find down dog or flow through high to low plank. Inhale to cobra or lift to up dog. Exhale, brings us up and back to downward facing dog. Dancing dog, one last time. Swivel those hips, press your heels down. Let your head hang loose and easy. And then walk that dog to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Moving on, Sun B, breathe in chair pose. So as you start to sink your hips down and lift your arms up, pull your belly in and let's flow with the arms. As you exhale, your arms flow back. Let's do that again. Breathe in, reach high. Exhale, arms flow back. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms flow back. Now stay there for a moment if you want to challenge. Elevate your heels, drinking bird. Lower the heels, breathe in, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, clean your palms and step to plank, either weight in down dog or move through your high to low plank. Inhale, brings you to up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, take your right leg, reach it up, and as you exhale, bring the right foot through and step in between your palms. You can lower the back knee into a modified or full crescent as we flow. Let's try the modified first. Rise up, you're on the left knee, and the arms reach high. That's a modified crescent, and then we'll flow the arms forward and back, reaching up high. If you're choosing to be on the knee, you'll need to plant the palms and pick up the back knee. Ready for a challenge? Full crescent, back heel stays lifted as you rise up. The right knee bends and lunges are lining over the right ankle. Both arms reach high, breathe in. And as you exhale, fly your arms back, floating back. Good, again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms flow back. One more time, inhale, reach high. Exhale, flow the arms back. Breathe in, reach up, and as you exhale, open up to warrior two. So as you come to warrior two, you keep the bend in the right knee, the back heel full, releases to the mat, and the arms reach out. We're gonna take this into a bit of a dance. Let's inhale, straighten the front leg, the right leg, bring the hands to touch overhead. Turn your palms out, and as you exhale, turn your gaze to the right and lunge deep. Do that again. Inhale, rise. Exhale, go down. One more time. Breathe in, bring it up. Exhale, brings you back down. Good. On your next inhale, reverse warrior. As you reach up and back, look up. 
Lunge deep, big breath in. As you breathe out, your hands will return to the mat, and you can step back, flow through high to low plank or weight in down dog. Breathe in up dog, exhale down dog. Second side, breathe in left leg high, exhale brings it through to a low lunge. Drop down to your right knee. Just for round one, we'll try the modification. You can do it as we flow if you like. Breathe in arms high, exhale arms flow back. Good, again, inhale reach up, exhale flow back. Once more, breathe in reach high, exhale arms flow back. If you're on the knee, you would need to pick it up. See what it looks like off the knee. Try and if you like, reach up high, crescent lunge. As you exhale, arms flow back. Breathe and reach up. Exhale, float them back. Once more, inhale, reach the arms high. Breathe out, float them back. Breathe and reach up. And as you breathe out, spin open to where to on the second side. So the back right foot is parallel with the back edge of the mat. Front left knee points forward over your left foot. Where two, let's dance. Breathe in straight in the left leg, palms connect above you. Exhale, lunge deep. Two more, inhale, straighten, lift. Exhale, lunge deep. One more, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lunge deep, stay in the lunge. Breathe in reverse warrior, left hand high. Right hand glides soft and light down the back thigh as you look up the left hand. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back and flow through high to low plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Breathe out, down dog. Ooh, from down dog, look forward and step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair. Here we go, let's flow. Exhale, arms flow back. Stay in chair, breathe and reach high. Exhale, float and back. One more time, inhale, reach high. Breathe out, float back. Want the challenge, breathe and lift the heels. Exhale, put them down. Breathe and look up. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. And weight in down dog, move through high to low plank. Breathe in, up dog. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent on or off the knee. Exhale, arms flow back. We'll do it two more times. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, flow them back. Once more, breathe and reach up. Breathe out, flow them back. If you're on the back knee, lift it up, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the front leg, turn your gaze. Exhale, lunge deep. Two more, inhale, reach up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, look over the right hand, one more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lunge. Breathe in reverse, right hand high. Exhale, release your hands down. Step back and flow through high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Side two, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent. On or off the back knee, you decide. Exhale, arms flow back. Breathe and reach up. Exhale, flow them back. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, float back. Lift off that back knee if you're on it. Breathe and rise up. Exhale, opens you up, warrior two. Breathe and dancing warrior, straighten the front leg. Exhale, lunge deep. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lunge. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Breathe in reverse, left hand lifts. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back. Flow through high to low plank. Breathe in up dog. And breathe in downward, facing dog. Breathe a few breaths here in down dog. Option to come on down and rest in child's pose if you need to. From down dog, shift forward to high plank and then slowly lower to your belly all the way down. Uh, let's take a moment to rest. Rest your right cheek on the mat. Rest your arms by your side. Just breathe. Ooh. Good work. Can you feel how warmed up you are? I love that sun salutation. It's like a dance. Let's continue this dancey vibe as we move forward into some back strengthening. So bring your chin to the mat and place your palms just in front of your chest as wide as the width of your mat. We're going to lift to a high cobra and maybe do what's called a drunken cobra. Kind of fun. We're going to swivel the shoulders side to side. And your gaze follows. 
it hurts your back, you do it. If it feels good, just one more. Woo. And then lower down and relax your opposite cheek on the mat and relax your arms. Put it down by your side. And just breathe. Mm. Right, let's take a flying locust. Chin is on the mat, arms sweep out like the letter T. Elevate your legs and then fly around on your mat. Imagine yourself flying, flying over wherever you'd like to be right now. Most of us are stuck at home in a quarantine, so we're home, but maybe if we close our eyes, we can fly over the ocean and go to Hawaii or wherever you want to be. One more big breath in. Exhale, release all the way down. Ah, relax. Release. Good. From here, place your palms beneath your shoulders and push up into tabletop. Come to standing on your knees. This is called dancing camel. And it's a whole lot of fun. If you feel it all wobbly here, you could always put a blanket beneath your knees. I like to curl my toes under and lean into my feet. And what that does is it gives you that feeling of stability and also a little less back bend if you need a little space. So to do uh, dancing camel pose, you're gonna look over your left shoulder, bring your left fingertips to touch your left heel. Take your right hand and float it in front of you, reaching it up and stretching as far back as you can. And then swivel the right arm down in front of you. Turn to the right, grab hold of the right heel with your right hand and sweep the left hand up and open up. Feels really good, try it a few times if you like. If it doesn't feel good for you, of course you wouldn't do it, but it feels good. Just flow with me. Maybe one more round on each side. Right and left. Ah. And then come back up. Join your knees and thighs together and sit on your heels. I hope you're feeling the vibes today, the good yoga vibes. And as you pause here in this posture with your hands on your thighs, this is hero pose, and it just reminds us that you are heroic. You're heroic for showing up on your yoga mat, for staying connected to your practice, for finding a groovy vibe that works for you, even in the midst of some of the hardships that we all face in life. So appreciate yourself for that. Let's come to seated on our mats. I'm gonna swivel my hips to one way and then the other and share with you kind of a fun flow. Let's turn to face the camera. So you're gonna take your right leg and sweep it out to the side and bring your left foot to the inner right thigh. Reach your right hand out toward the right foot and reach your left hand high. So you look up at the left hand as you inhale. As you exhale, take the left hand down in front of you and touch the right foot. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, lift the left hand high. Let your gaze follow the hand. Exhale, bring it down. Breathe in, sweep it up. Breathe out, bring it down one more time. Inhale, reach high, and exhale, the left hand comes down. I'm going to ask you to turn toward your right foot and lean over the right foot and just breathe. It's a bit of an intense stretch, I know. Pull your left shoulder down even more. And begin to lift your gaze, reach your hands high overhead, and then place your left hand down behind you. Take your right hand, sweep it across from the right foot, across the floor mat in front of you, pushing the left palm. Come on to the left knee, and see so if you can lift into this delicious little back bend gate pose. One more big breath in here, and as you exhale, circle it all down. Isn't that fun? Let's do the other side. Left leg goes out, right foot comes in. We're gonna start by reaching the left hand out to the left foot. Maybe it rests on the shin, maybe you're able to grab your toe. Turn your shoulders open and reach your right hand high. Look up at the right hand. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, bring your right hand down and touch the left foot. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, bring it back down. Two more, breathe in, flow open. Breathe out, come back down. One more time, inhale, really open up. As you exhale, right hand comes down toward the left foot, turn toward your left leg, and fold down over your left leg for a brief little stretch here. Just noticing how this feels. Pulling the right shoulder down just a little bit more. Good. And then need to lift your gaze. Rise, reach the hands all the way overhead. Nice. And 
we're gonna turn to the right and place the right hand down behind the right butt cheek, the left fingers come to the big toe of the left foot, and you're gonna sweep the earth and lift into gate pose, letting your head fall back. Just breathe here, feel the heart open, and as you breathe out, come all the way back down. Awesome. Let's come back to tabletop and push back to downward facing dog. We've got time here for a little flowy balance sequence, so curl your toes under, push up and back, and dance that dog to the top of the mat into a forward fold stretch. And then bring your feet together and round all the way up to standing. All right, let's flow a little bit here. We're gonna start in mountain pose, shifting onto the left foot. Lift your right knee into the air, maybe the right leg is straight. Just feel the strength there. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, flow it back to an airplane posture. Find a single point of focus and really feel your body breathe as the arms sweep out, sort of like the letter T. Flow between these two more times. Inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, float it back. Good. Once more, breathe and rise. One leg mountain. Exhale, takes you back to airplane. And then both feet meet on the mat. As you stand up nice and tall, awesome. Shifting onto the right foot, lift your left knee into the air. Decide to keep the knee bent, it's a little easier, or extend the left foot out. One leg mountain, hold and breathe. And then as you exhale, slide the left leg back, sweep the arms out like wings and tilt your chest forward. Good. Now we'll do that two more times. Inhale, one leg mountain, whoop. Exhale, fly it back. One more time, inhale, one leg mountain. Exhale, airplane posture. Good, both feet meet on the mat as you stand up tall, breathe in. Let's flow, left arm releases, right body stretches. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, go to the right. Breathe and rise up. Exhale, fold forward. From this forward fold, touch the mat and squat all the way down to your seat. Awesome. Send your legs out in front of you. We've warmed up the legs with a deep stretch earlier. Take the flesh of your booty back just a little bit. Flex your feet and reach your arms high. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, fold. Let's flow. Slide the hands up the sides of the legs, sides of the mat. As you inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold forward two more times. Slide it up as you breathe in, reach up. Exhale, fold last time. Breathe and come all the way up. Exhale, fold. Let's just hold out here for a few breaths. I'd like to challenge those of you that feel really flexible to try straightening the spine, lifting your gaze, and maybe even lifting your toes. Pretty big challenge, I know. Get a couple more breaths here. Really feel the stretch. Ooh. And then release. We'll do a little tiny bit of core here, lowering to the mat, nice and slow abs are working all the way down. Good, once you come to the mat, draw both knees in and give yourself a loving squeeze. Woo. Place your feet down on the mat, let's move into a supine version of pigeon by reaching the right leg high and then place the right ankle on the left thigh. Keep the right foot flexed and thread the needle. Reach in between your legs, grab the back of the left leg, and lay back down. Use your right elbow to push the right knee away from you. Just breathing here. Oh yeah, that's a really nice stretch. Feel the combination of effort and ease. The effort, we did a really strong flow, and now we invite in that feeling of letting go, of ease, of release. Release can most often be well felt on an exhalation. So elongate your breath out and notice how lovely that is to let go. Release your left foot to the mat and take your right leg lifted up high. You're gonna hold the back of the right leg and do what I like to call the can-can. Bend the right knee. As you inhale, send the right leg high. Do it again. Exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, reach it up, two more. Exhale, bend, inhale, extend. One last time, and extend. Now this time we're gonna reach up to the back of the right leg and give it that little extra hamstring stretch. Good, yeah. And then lay back down, placing the right foot down. 
on the mat next to the left. Trying side two, here we go. Left leg lifts up high, then bend the left knee, place the left ankle on the right thigh, push the left knee open, stay as you are, lift your gaze and thread the needle. Lie back down and use your left elbow to open the left knee to the side. If your left foot flex, this helps to protect your knee. And just breathe, let go, relax and enjoy. It's the best part of the practice. Well, it's all right. Makes me feel good. I'm feeling groovy. Got those yoga vibes flowing for sure. <sighs> okay, let's get ready for the can can. Side two. Right foot comes down, left leg lifts up high. Let's put the lower part of the back of the left leg and exhale as you bend the left knee. We'll do this four times. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Breathe and stretch. Breathe up, bend. Good. Breathe and extend. Breathe up and last one, breathe in, kick it up, exhale, bend. Now when you kick that left leg high, reach up, lift your head up and pull the left leg toward you for an added stretch right there for the hamstring. Yeah, oh yes, that feels awesome. And then lie back down and place your left ankle, oops, left foot on the mat. Draw both knees in for a squeeze, rocking a little bit side to side, feel your lower back, get a little extra love. Keeping the knees together, hold the knees and circle your knees around and around, giving your lower back a nice little massage against the mat. Pull your knees into your chest and circle the other way. Around and around. Oh, this is so good. Okay, finish with a twist. Knees in the chest, left knees drop to the left. Place your left hand on your right thigh, turn your gaze to the right. Take a few breaths here, surrendering and letting go. Mm. All right, bring in a little strength, draw both knees up. And as you breathe out, take them over to the right. Turn your gaze to the left, soften, relax, release, let go. Mm. Wonderful to find that balance between effort and ease. It makes it a cool and groovy vibe. Good. Unravel your twist, bring your knees into your chest, and move into happy baby by reaching between your legs and grabbing the hold of your feet. Pull your knees down and out and rock side to side. Maybe straighten your legs one at a time. Oh gosh, that feels wonderful. Mm -hmm. Coming back to center, draw your knees in and pull yourself into a little squeeze. Breathe in, and as you exhale, let it all go and rest in Shavasana. Ooh, let go of breath control, relax your body. And as you rest, I'd like to share, as I always do in the 365 inspired yoga classes, my inspirational quote. And the quote is, yoga is the dance between control and surrender, between pushing and letting go. And when to push and when to let go becomes a part of the creative process, part of an open-ended exploration of your being. I hope you take this cool yoga vibe with you and let it carry you through the rest of your day. We close the practice with a word that says, I see you, I see the dancer, the light, the vibe in you that is radiant and beautiful. From my heart to yours, namaste. And thank you. Thank you for subscribing to Free Yoga Club and for sharing with your friends and family. Be sure to leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts. Thank you.